with you on these points? Why did mm. you, why did you choose this course as software testing? Can I can I yeah please this? yes please okay yeah uh, sir actually my sister has been into this from seven years so she's continuously talking to me about this and she's telling me all those little things so I am interested into this that's why I think it will be good to opt this job because you know it will be comfortable also and it's it's comparatively interesting and you can easily learn it i think that's why i want to learn it okay good yeah. good so when you are trying to learn something about testing right let me give you some background okay uh, so uh, what is testing means testing is nothing but a set of activities okay uh, Okay. Sir, is uh, sorry to interrupt you. Is it recording? So I don't have to write, or should I write? Uh, you need not write anything for today. Just have a listen, have a look at it. Uh, I'll provide you the notes. I have the soft copy with me, and I'll I'll provide you the notes. But whenever I tell you to write some main points, right? At that time, you make okay. a, uh, you make a note of it. Okay. So basically, testing is nothing but a set of activities that can be planned. Mm -hmm. Okay that can be planned in advance and conducted systematically okay to identify defects defects okay and to isolate them and report them So this is your job as a tester in a company. Basically, it is nothing but you are having some set of activities that are planned in advance. Okay, means uh, mm -hmm. while the development is going on, uh, parallelly testing uh, activities also will take place, and you are going to conduct them. You are going to perform some actions on the application, and uh, when uh, to identify defects. The purpose is you should identify the defect, and then you have to isolate them. Isolate means you have to separate the de defect, give some category to that defect, and you have to report to the developer. Okay, that means once you join a company, okay, once you join a company, your job is to identify a defect, uh, mm -hmm. categorize that defect, and the next thing is to report that defect. If you know these three things, then uh, uh, you can easily survive in the testing testing domain. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, before going to this, you should know what is a software. Can anybody tell me what is a software in simple layman terms? What is a software? What is the purpose software of the software? Is, um, it's, it's, it's like a set of programs that we are going to use it for a specific reason, like online banking is also a software, or maybe in mobile phone, there are so many software. So we are installing them to take a particular advantage of that thing. I okay. Think. okay. Okay, software is nothing. Okay, fine. So basically, can I say something like software is nothing but a set of programs or procedures mm -hmm. with along with some documentation which is used to perform a specific task. Yes. Okay. So whenever it's a specific task, in your case, if you are making a banking uh, banking transaction, it can be related to banking sector. If you are buying a movie ticket, it can be related mm -hmm. to entertainment, right? So the purpose of testing is to perform an activity end to end. Uh, so whenever you're performing that activity right it is nothing but execution of a program okay mm -hmm. what you are doing is mm -hmm. i can write in something i can write something like this a software is nothing but a computer program okay okay or it can be some procedures also okay. associated with some documentations see you cannot uh, run a software if you don't know uh, uh, the documentation part yes or no Yes. So software without documentation is of no use. Okay, sir. To perform an operation, a task on a system. It can be any task. Okay. It can be related to any task. In simple terms, I can say like this also. Software is nothing but set of instructions or a program to perform a specific task. It can be like online payment of utility bill, <clears throat> banking transactions or anything. 
and now whenever I'm saying a software right software is classified into two types okay uh, one is called as a system software other one is called as the application software so can anybody tell me what is system software and application software sir I know about the application software can I tell that yeah please yeah application software is like just online banking also like it's a, like we download the application we will perform we were we are able to perform some thing on that like we can transfer the money and use the online banking pay okay. our debts and everything and the system software i think that is inbuilt in the system like um uh, these are the inbuilt systems in the computer i think okay um, you're almost close i don't know so anything interaction interaction between software and end user is called as application software like you are, you are talking about banking software or your facebook mm -hmm. your gmail what you are doing a end user is interacting with the software mm -hmm. right yes, and uh, what mm -hmm. do you mean by system software is interaction between software and hardware mm -hmm. yes okay? like for example yes. You are, you are trying to log in into your laptop or a desktop, right? So in order mm -hmm. to run your laptop, you need an operating system, right? Maybe you mm -hmm. are using Windows 8 or Windows 10, right? So mm -hmm. that is called as a uh, system software. So when you power on your laptop button, uh, what happens mm -hmm. is you are, there is a software that is going to interact with your hardware devices and it will start your computer, correct or not? Okay. Yes. Or, or yes. Anything related to printer, or uh, means any interaction between the software device and the hardware device will come under system software. So when I'm talking about system software, it's not only related to computer. It can be related to uh, like uh, to to a vending machine. It ca it can be related to a co coffee maker. It can be related to a washing machine. A a any device. Okay. But one thing you have to observe that any interaction between the software and hardware is regarded as a system software, and any interaction between the uh, uh, system software and the user is called as application software. Okay. So your job, mm -hmm. your job as a tester would be either to test the system software or application software. You'll be testing okay. any, any of these things. Now you should tell me, uh, one thing you have to tell me, like uh, where do you think there are more jobs? An application software or system software? I think the application software. Yeah. Correct. See, uh, there are more jobs in application software because uh, uh, whenever you're talking an application, right, uh, that, uh, it will be developed by multiple for multiple clients and it will be used by multiple users, right? So the scope of getting jobs are more in our developing application software than system software. System software is almost stable, like Windows. So see, when you when you take system software, right, you can count the number of companies which are working on system software, like Microsoft. Microsoft works on the system software. Okay, HP drivers. Okay. So all the drivers uh, which are related to your LAN card or your network card works on the system software. So uh, the scope of getting job is more in application software when compared to system software. Okay. The next thing, next thing you should know. Generally, what happens, you know, when you are working in a company, companies are classified into two types. There are two types of companies. Okay. One is called as product development companies. Okay, other one is called service based companies. So what do you mean by this? Now you tell me what is the difference between a product uh, uh, development companies and service based companies. This is called as project uh, development. Any idea? I think product so, development basically build the main software and services using the software okay. and just in my language okay so can you name any any of the product development company is microsoft uh, can be called as a product development company i think yes okay microsoft you can call it as a product development company okay good google is also sir a product development yeah good Okay, you, they have developed a product called as Gmail, so that is the reason why you are telling Google is a product developer. Yeah. Correct? Microsoft, also. Microsoft has developed something called as an operating system, so you are telling it as a product based company. Yeah. 
okay mm -hmm. uh, you are telling facebook uh, the is also a product based company because they have developed a, a social networking site called as facebook correct <coughs> now yes, yeah. can you name some of the service based companies whether in india or in us these, i think dell dell hp dell hp yeah uh, um, like all tcs forgo sancher wells forgo sancher Okay, for go. I Let's think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, do you? I was just wondering. Amazon is a service-based company. Okay. Uh, you tell me. What do you think? Amazon is a service-based company or a product-based company? I think. I think it's. it's, all, it's both. Because... It's a, okay. You say it's service-based. Okay. Now I'll I'll tell you one rule. How do you identify whether it is a service-based company or a product-based company? The simple rule is, if if the application. Or if the product, or if the project, it is targeted for multiple clients or multiple audience, then it is called as a product-based company. Facebook is used by multiple people, right? Okay. Yeah. Is there any customer yeah. for uh, Facebook? Did anybody ask mm -hmm. to develop Facebook? Nobody has asked to develop mm -hmm. Facebook, right? No. So one thing you have to remember is for product-based uh, for product development, there will be no specific targeted customer. Okay. okay, product is something is 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 targeted for a huge set of audience available in the market. Okay, so what okay. they will do is they will take a common problem in the society and they'll try to provide a solution to that problem. There will be no customer for a, for a product based companies. Okay, so they they release okay. a product in the market. So once they release a product in the market, if they, if it is successful, they get customers and they, they will generate money. So for example, Google you take Gmail. So we are not paying any mm -hmm. money for using Gmail or Facebook, right? Yeah. But how is the company surviving? So can you repeat it? I'm didn't get I didn't get your question. So we we are using so, so products like uh, Gmail and Facebook, right? Uh, we are yes, not sir. paying any money for using this Gmail and Facebook. Okay. Yeah. But how the company mm -hmm. will generate revenue? So definitely the end users, as much end users are using it, I think. I um, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I, I just heard and I have an idea. Like we are the free user of Google Gmail, but like MindsMap, MindsMap is definitely paying Google to, I mean, yeah. like when we Google it, like QA training, and then it shows MindsMap, then I think MindsMap is, paying Google and like if you are using the Gmail through your university or your organization, then oh. they have bought a certain thing in Gmail from the Google well, people. Yeah, perfect. Same thing with YouTube also. YouTube is yeah, paying them, yeah. right? Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at here. Uh, this is my Gmail ID. It's a MindsMap Gmail ID. So my Gmail mm -hmm. ID is qa.testing at mindsmap.us. Okay. That means yeah. MindsMap has taken some of the services of Google and they are paying money for it. Okay. Yeah. So whenever whenever you browse through your email, right, or in a Facebook, you get some ads. That means Facebook is not collecting mm -hmm. money from the user. They are collecting from the people who want to publish some ads in, in the Facebook site. Like this, they are going yeah. to generate money. So now you have to come to a conclusion that there are two types of <coughs> software. One is called a system software. The other one is called mm -hmm. application software and, um, mm -hmm. and there are two types of servicing companies. One is called the product development company. Other one is just called service based company. The product development company will not have any customer. Okay. They will release a product in the market and then the customers you, you will get. Okay. Coming to mm -hmm. service based companies. So what service based companies will do is they will have a customer. Okay. For example, TCS is there. If TCS is developing an application for Citibank, then Citibank is a customer of TCS. Okay. Mm, if yes, if, if yes. TCS is developing an application for RBS, okay, then RBS is a customer of TCS. Okay. So th that means they are going to develop a specific application to a particular customer, okay, or a client, and they are going to generate revenue. Is this clear? Okay. Yes. So yeah. so when it comes to Amazon, right? Any company. So if when when you take a company, right? Company will do both. Company will provide services as well as it will provide uh, uh, products. For example, the best example is a Dell. Dell is into uh, into products, right? Uh, so you know people purchase Dell laptops. 
okay yes uh, but uh, dell also provides some services okay they also are uh, into software development they are also into maintenance of, of software also so one thing you have to remember is if i join uh, if i join as a tester in a software company i will be working mm -hmm. either in a, a product based company or service based company okay is this clear mm -hmm. now you tell me where the scope of testing will be more uh, whether in a service based company the scope of testing would be more or in a product based uh, sorry in a product based company the, the scope of testing will be more or in a service based companies the scope of testing will be more so i think service based Service, okay. yeah. Why? Well, because there will be more projects to you know. Then, then they will move, they will build more applications to you know install in a market. New new project ideas will be there. I think so. Okay. Yeah, and in the service um, department, you always will be dealing with the problem of customers and everything, right? Okay, uh, I will repeat the definition of product-based companies and service-based companies once again for you. Uh, or I'll tell some. I'll call service-based companies will work on projects, and products-based companies will work on products. Okay. 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 So how do I classify project? Right is something. Okay. There is some police roaming near your place. Police. There is some background mm -hmm. noise. No, my my area is just silent. It's morning. Okay. Because I am hearing some background noise, silent. Okay. Okay. I can mute whenever I will talk. I will unmute myself. It's okay. That that's fine. The no, the noise is not annoying. You can you, you can unmute yourself. So project is something. Are you you are not able yes. to hear any voice? I'm I'm hearing this door opening type noise from the very beginning, but I thought it's okay. Okay, fine, that's okay. Project is something that is developed based on customer requirements. Okay, it's developed based on customer requirements and used by particular customer. Example, mm -hmm. TCS is developing an application for Citibank. Okay, mm -hmm. like this product develop. Yeah, no, sir. I am also hearing that you're hearing going right? sound. Yeah, now I am hearing. I don't know who, where it is coming. Who is this? Shruti, yeah, yeah Shruti. Okay. You. Are, what about uh, you? Can I call you Sana? Hey, Sana. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. Good. So, product is something. I'm talking in today in very low level layman term terminology so that you, it is easy for you to understand. But this is not how you should talk when you go for an interview. Okay. This is for your understanding purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah, give sure. you the textbook definition and the, the professional way of talking about a product and product later. But we'll try to understand uh, so that you can easily remember it uh, for a longer period of time. That's the reason why I'm talking in very low level language. Okay. Product is no, something I... that is developed. So I think that that is good. We can understand easily. Okay. Yeah. Based on com yeah. Com company specification. Nobody told Facebook that there should be a site called as Facebook. We have to log in. You can upload photos. Mm -hmm. You can chat. Nobody told Facebook, right? So they have come up with some specifications. Okay, and used by multiple customers. Customers. Okay. Now you tell me where the scope is there for a service-based company or a, a product-based company. If it is a service-based company, what is the reason? And if it is a product-based company, what is the reason? I think service based company will be having more job options because there are so many people. It's because it, there are end users are more, I think. Okay, let, 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 let's uh, let, I'll give you. Okay, let's go with you. 
<laughs> will think that there are more job opportunities in service based company okay let's say tcs is there tcs is a service based company they are developing a, mm -hmm. uh, they are developing an application for city bank so how, how how many people will be there all the users of the city bank all the customers of city oh. bank will be using uh, will, oh, be, will okay. be using the application which is developed by tcs Oh, now I get a uh, product based company will be having more job options. Okay. I, I'll, <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I, I'll, I'll further elaborate. So, you know, if, if a city bank site says that my application will open only in IE. So, you, you'll mm. obviously open in IE, right? You'll say that so I, I don't have IE, I'll not open. What you'll do? Yeah. If you don't have IE, you'll download IE and you'll, you'll open, right? Okay. Yeah. What was the name? IE. IE, I I, 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 Internet Explorer. No, no, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I got. So I was. Oh. I don't know the short form. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. So basically, if, uh, if especially when you go to some bank website, right, they they clearly specify that our application works fine only in Internet Explorer or our application works fine only in Chrome browser. Then you'll yeah. open that browser and you will work. That means when you are working in a service-based company, you know your targeted mm -hmm. audience. Okay, you yeah, know that yeah. uh, these are 10 requirements. Okay, uh, 10 yeah. requirements are given uh, to by the client called as city bank and I'll be developing the application for these 10 requirements only. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. so yes, uh, for 10 requirements only I'll develop the application and uh, I know that uh, my end user, so uh, end user infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I know that my end user will be using a browser and the browser which he'll be using is Internet Explorer. Okay. That yes, so here, specified. Yeah. It will be specified. Here the boundary is defined. Okay. Hmm. If somebody tries yeah. to, uh, if somebody tries to open, again there is some noise, right? Yeah. It was gone, but now it started again. Uh, is there any fan uh, near you or the door is open? Can you close the door? Because this will be recorded, yeah. right? I don't want that uh, noise in the recorded session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm already in a like uh, closed door room, and here it's winter, so no fan, nothing. Oh, I think it is from Suthi's end, not from Sana end. So from my end? Yes. See if I mute, there is no noise. Okay, but sir, I I'm not getting any voice because I'm in a particular my room and are the you, door. Are, are you using noise. microphone or are you talking directly? I'm using uh, sir this yeah headphones yes microphones. Uh, okay, fine. Then it's okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm fine. So now you uh, one one thing you have to understand is when you are working in a service based companies, you know who is your customer, who you know who is your end user. So uh, whatever requirements are given by customer, that requirements you will develop it and the testing team will, will test it. Testing team will test it and then you are going to release it to that particular customer, right? Okay. Yeah. Now we come to see the scenario of the of a private based companies like like Facebook. Okay. Now you you tell me the scenario. When let's say you are working for a, you got a luckily you got a job in a Facebook company as a tester. Now you have to test the application. If you look at the infrastructure, this Facebook can be accessed in laptop. Okay, mm -hmm. it can be accessed mm -hmm. in desktop. Okay, it can be accessed mm -hmm. in mobile. Yeah, it can be accessed in tablet. So you cannot restrict the customer, right? You cannot say that uh, my Facebook will only open in laptop. It will not open in mobile. You cannot say to the user, right? You will not get customers if you say like mm -hmm. that. So you have mm -hmm. four different types of systems, okay? And uh, and coming, let's say best case they are using laptop, okay? Uh, in laptop also, some people will have Internet Explorer as a browser. Some people will be using mm -hmm. Mozilla Firefox as a browser. Some people mm -hmm. will be using Chrome as a browser, okay? And some mm -hmm. people uh, will be using uh, Safari, and some mm -hmm. people will be using Opera. Okay, mm -hmm. that means you have to test it in all the browsers, correct or not? Yeah. Again, when it comes to IE, right, there are different versions. Some people will use 9, some people will use 10, some people will use 11, and some people will use Edge. You are getting the point. 
so yes sir so the scope of testing is more the scope of testing is mm. more in product based companies when compared to service based companies but in both the companies mm. testing will be there okay mm. and, uh, mm. that that you have to understand uh, and uh, so whenever you, so now now you, you should be in a position to tell uh, tell me like uh, what will happen in testing you are going to test an application based on some requirement requirements mm. correct Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you when you what will happen if you don't test an application? So then there will be a more faults or defects. You can say we okay. we can see multiple defects. Okay. Let me again iterate my testing definition. A testing is nothing but a set of activities that can be planned mm -hmm. in advance and conducted mm -hmm. systematically to identify defects. Mm -hmm. and assess quality and report them mm -hmm. and assess mm -hmm. you can make a note of this definition I use a pa paper and pen and write it in your notebook mm -hmm. just okay, sir. and assess I'll make a note of this point. Once you're done, let me know. Can you tell me what is the definition of quality? Again, quality. there is some background noise. Okay. Yeah, tell me. Quality. Are you, are you, yes, are you asking about the definition of quality? Yes, how do you define quality? How do you say it's a quality uh, I, product? I think there, first there will be some set of requirement or prerequisite if uh, the product or something is met is fulfilled with those requirements then we will say that okay it's a quality product quality product yes okay okay what you are saying is if the requirements are satisfied then yeah. uh, then you are going to say it is a quality product yeah. okay so let's take uh, one uh, based on your definition uh, let's take one thing see you you have this iphone right Yes. Okay, and you have the Samsung phone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, both the phones, uh, people, the purpose of both the phones is to make a call. That's the main purpose, right? Yes. So, but why yeah. you have more people using iPhone even it is more expensive than Samsung? Correct or not? Mm, be yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. because. I think um, the you battery realize, life is really good, yeah, which but, is but, really one second, one second. Let me yeah. write, write down. Uh, okay. Since we're talking about quality, you are saying that battery life is good. Okay. Yeah. It's good. And um, battery life is really features. important for a device. Um, iPhone is having more good features compared to the camera and all that, you know, game. <laughs> and yes that's a good point and i think um i i'm not a iphone user but my husband does so compared to my android or my samsung i know that the virus attacking things are mm. very less in iphone almost zero but in android or samsung uh, you know virus can attack okay so, okay that, that's good so you are saying that you will you are using samsung Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for you, since you are using Samsung, so you you think that Samsung is a good quality, right? That's the reason why you are using. Correct or no? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, some people say I am using iPhone because so iPhone is of iPhone. good quality. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on people. Some people like iPhone. Some people like Samsung. 
Okay, yeah. correct or not? So, but yeah. w- what we are saying, anything which is satisfying the requirements, if the requirements are fulfilled, then you are saying uh, it has quality. Correct? Mm. So, that yeah, means yeah. quality is not defined in the product. Let me tell you something. Okay? Quality is not okay. defined in the product. Okay? Quality is something which is defined in the customer mind. Okay. In customer mind. Okay? So, am I correct or wrong? Why? Because some people will really like iPhone. Some people will really hate iPhone. Let me tell you this. Yes. Okay? That Mm -hmm. means, uh, how can one product is very good for a person and how can the same product be not good for a person? That is nothing but you are saying that quality is something which is not defined in the product or the project. It is defined something in the customer mind. Okay. So what Mm -hmm. is your job as a tester is you have to ensure that all the requirements are developer has implemented all the requirements and those requirements are adding some value to the end user or the customer. Okay. So uh, you should try to read the pulse of the customer. You should you should mm-hmm. write, uh, so the reason why I'm saying uh, why, uh, reason why I'm saying this point is uh, people earlier used to use uh, Rediff Mail for sending emails. Okay, mm-hmm. now people are most of the people are using Gmail. Okay, mm-hmm. they're using Gmail. Earlier people used to use social media called Orchid. And now they are using Facebook. Mm-hmm. You people, you may know or mm-hmm. not. I am not sure. Uh, the, yeah. reason, the the purpose is same. In Rediff also you can send a mail. In Gmail also you can send a mail. The purpose is same. But yeah. you should understand the presence of value to the end user. So, uh, as a tester, you have to ensure that the customer is very happy with your product. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so you are your job as a tester is to not only just click on the requirements. Quality is nothing but not only justification of the requirements, but also having some value to the customer. Okay. Uh, so now you tell me uh, why testing is required. Can can developer do this? Mm, developer, uh, mm, I think they can, but they don't have as much time because they have made all the codes and did all the coding things, you know. I think it yeah what I have learned from normal Google search that it's a set of works like a teamwork that the developer develops their part and the tester do their job yeah okay fine Um, sir I want to add something can I yeah please yeah I think if you have made something then you can you can't you know just uh, do the you can can't find the defects if somebody else will do or look at your work then he or she can find the defects i think that tester will do he can easily detect the defects that you know as a developer he he can't see them or he's just ignoring it or maybe his manual issue what i think sorry okay fine (laughs) so i can tell you one thing uh one person cannot do That's so much work yes two things effectively at same time okay this is the psychology of the human being okay that mm, means yeah. if i ask you to drive the car okay and talk on phone mm. If I ask you to drive the car and talk on the phone, tell me how comfortable you are. If I ask you only to drive or only to talk on the phone, where you will get more quality? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the thing you have to understand is one person cannot develop as well as test at the same time quality will come down he can do that i'm not saying he cannot do it but if we do it quality will come down 
so if when quality comes down company cannot survive in the market mm. okay so that is the reason why do you why? say yeah why do you say quality will come down because if i develop something i will know the faults and i will <laughs> normally as a human being i will i may be can ignore those that's why quality will come down okay you're saying that uh, you have developed something you know more of it and uh, and you can fix it right mm, fix it or sometimes ignore it thinking that okay it's less important so just ignore it okay uh, i'll give you one scenario i'll give you one scenario don't talk about testing or software field uh let's mm -hmm. say uh you are studying in a college mm -hmm. okay you are studying in a college and um, you have to write one exam okay if you pass that exam if you pass that exam you will get certificate mm -hmm. okay if you get certificate you will get a job okay yeah so mm -hmm. you you write the exam okay uh, and say and let's say that uh, uh, if you get 80% in that exam then you will get a job okay mm. so let's say you have written the exam and uh, some teacher has corrected your paper okay teacher has corrected mm. uh, your paper okay mm. okay now tell me if if you are given a chance to correct your own paper <laughs> okay yeah definitely you will get more than 80% yeah. yes 100% percent yeah. but if if i ask a teacher to correct the paper you may or may not get 80% mm. yes or no that is what is happening in the industry now if you are asked to mm. test your own software definitely you will say it, it is working fine yeah. okay so one thing you have to understand is the testing will play a vital role in a company why because at the end of the day when they are, you are delivering a product to the company uh, if the company want to survive in the market the quality of the product should be extraordinary nowadays then only they, mm -hmm. they can attract customers and then the, then only they'll get money then only the company will survive okay so one thing you have to understand is wherever you go where if it is a software company if if the company is developing something 100% they have to test it okay uh, so uh, that is the reason why uh, one person cannot develop and test it at uh, the same time uh, you cannot expect good quality second thing is uh, if you give the if you ask the, the same person who has developed the software to test it then definitely he is sentimentally attached to the code and he will never raise funds <coughs> okay yeah. so when the problems comes you know okay you can you can deliver a software which is uh, which is of low quality in the market also but the thing is anyhow you will lose bad reputation that is okay uh, but the, what mm -hmm. happens you know there will be some of the softwares uh, which are something like uh, what you you can say is not only uh, it can have some minor disturbances but it also have light life life threatening also for example uh, you are driving a car okay mm. uh, let's say yeah. uh, by applying brake you should it should apply brake it should stop right let's say there is some glitch mm. in the software and it did not apply brake properly then there is a life mm. life threatening scenario right yes or mm. so yes. nobody want to take that risk okay that's the reason mm. why what companies are doing is the whenever they are developing something they will thoroughly test it and then only they'll release it into the market uh, otherwise uh, the one thing is if the if, the, if it's of good quality then obviously people will buy it and the uh, company will get money that is the ultimate aim of these things okay so so mm -hmm. with the help of testing only we can achieve quality okay mm -hmm. so the, so yeah. so what what is actual goal of testing is to ensure that the that the system is is doing what it is supposed to do okay yeah. for example if i have mm. a car the purpose of a car is to drive okay mm -hmm. uh, so it yes. is to ensure that what the system is supposed to do and also ensure what it is not supposed to do mm. yeah okay so, the, so uh, this is about testing so your job as a tester is to identify the defects now you tell me what is mean by defect mm. defect 
is uh, some mistake or bug that we don't want in our in our specific program or in our specific software correct that if i am writing something then it it is getting it's not getting the way i want that that can be a defect okay uh, yes a defect is something a flaw in a component okay there is some mm -hmm. issue with the component and it is not behaving as expected yes. yeah okay uh, i'll give you one scenario uh, for example you have a mobile phone uh there is a signal the signal in that mobile and there is also balance in your phone and uh, you you should be if your the number is valid it should connect to that person and make a call that is a valid yeah. valid scenario if if it is not working then you can say there is some defect in this phone correct yeah yeah okay that means anything which is working according to the requirement no issue anything which is deviating from the requirement then it is an issue Correct. Yes. So your job is to identify what is getting deviating from the requirement. Hmm. Okay. And one more thing you should understand that uh, when you are testing something, you should test it in such a way that you are following the correct path. Okay. Hmm. For example, you are you are asked to test a mobile phone. If there is no signal hmm. in the phone and you 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 raise a bug saying that the phone is not working. then people mm. is not going to accept it developer is not going to fix it scenario also should be correct when you are raising a defect right you should ensure that you have you have followed the pro right procedure for it if there is no signal even though the number is correct then you, you cannot make a call right yeah that means you should know what is a precondition for that particular defect okay yeah so if you simply say the phone is not working this phone should work even there is no signal that is not a requirement right so what should be treated mm. as a bug what you have to raise it as a bug means any anything which is deviating from the requirement that only is considered as a bug okay yeah if it is not the, this, yeah. yeah if it is not in the requirement and you are raising it a bug it can be a valid or it cannot be in valid if it is a valid mm. scenario they are not going to call it as a bug they are going to call it as a suggestion or improvement okay. if it is not a valid scenario they are not going to fix it okay sir i don't know why your your voice is cutting a little bit i don't know yeah is it okay now you facing the same just yeah. give me a minute i'll be sorry you are facing the same problem hello 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 are you facing the same thing suti mm. Yes, sir. Actually, I told you that I am facing uh, this okay, thing. Okay, sir. So now, sir. are you? Facing... Yeah, we both. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let me check. Give me a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Asana, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, Asana, from where you belong? Yeah, from here too. Yeah. Are you from here too? I'm from. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina. Oh, I was there. Okay. <laughs> Now you are in which state? Can I know that? I'm. Yeah, sure. I'm in Oregon. I moved from North Carolina three years ago. Here. Oh, okay, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, in which city you are? Yeah, I'm in Charlotte. Oh, my city. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's good actually. Yeah, just... that's very nice to know that you are from Charlotte too. <laughs> Yeah, we just moved from New York. Actually, we were there for a year and a half. Now, oh, okay, we are we are we are living over here from past two years. Yeah, we like okay. it actually more comparatively to New York. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to live over there. You know, <laughs> lots of lots of snow. <laughs> no. So why do you move for job or anything? Yeah, actually, my husband is on H one, so he definitely get a better option over here. And you know, there was uh, so many weather issues. I didn't like it over there. We are actually there was so yeah, much weather cold. Yeah, weather is very much. Yeah. yeah, I can't even survive over there now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's weather is very very nice. And yeah. we moved in Oregon. It rains here very much, so all the time, mm. me and my husband keeps talking about Charlotte, Charlotte, but the weather wise. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh is it okay now? Okay. Yeah, yeah looks okay.
Yeah. I'm just asking if I get disconnected, like all of a sudden, how okay. in my email through that. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, you're saying something? Yeah, I mean, if I get disconnected all of a sudden, I mean, if anything happens, then how can I reconnect through the link I got in my email? Yes, the same link. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, fine. Okay, good. So one thing you would understand here is uh, software is nothing but a set of instructions which are going to perform a specific task. And your job as a tester is to identify the defects, isolate them, report them. Okay. Uh, okay. What is the purpose of thing is you have to check whether the requirement is developed, whether the developer has developed it as per the given requirement or not. Okay. And one mm -hmm. more thing is not only developing, not only justification of the requirements, but also adding some value to the customer. That that is also more mm -hmm. important. So generally companies are classified into two types, like product based companies and service based companies. So mm -hmm. product based companies, they, they don't have any particular customer. They take a problem and try to provide a solution to the problem and they target multiple customers. Okay, they don't have, and coming to service based companies, they have, they have a defined customer and also the infrastructure is defined for them. Okay. So when it comes to testing uh, quality, so what, what 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 is the benefit benefit of employing a tester in a company is the job of a tester is to ensure the application is of a quality product. Okay. Mm. Is this clear till this point? Yes. Sir. Whatever I'm talking. Okay. Now. Uh, as a tester, your job is to test some, uh, an application. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. talk about something. For example, if I, if I ask you uh, as a teacher, the talk, think about your college life. Uh, you you are a student and there is a teacher. Let's say you are doing your uh, graduation. Okay, so the teacher can assess you because she already has some subject knowledge. <coughs> Correct or not? Sorry. Yes. Uh, let's say you are taking a simple subject like English. You have English as a subject, mm. right, in your academic some in some point of your life. Mm. Okay. Mm. So uh, how a teacher will assess you? There is one textbook. In that textbook, there is some course content. So you will start reading that textbook, and there will be one exam. Questions will come from that uh, textbook only, and the, based on your mm. response, teacher will assess you. Correct. Mm. And, yes. uh, and one more thing the, uh, for a, the what is the eligibility of the teacher to assess you means the teacher should have already passed that exam then only she will become mm -hmm. a teacher right yes sir. you have to understand the context yeah. here you are saying yes. you are a tester you are your job is to test something and give the quality first of all you should know right mm -hmm. to test something yes yes sir. so who, who will teach you mm. How to test? Uh, there should be some reference, right? For for example, you uh, you have a mobile phone. Somebody should teach you how mm. to operate a mobile phone, right? For the first time, at least yes. for the first time. Because mm -hmm. uh, if it's an Android or an iPhone, uh, you can access it. But if you if the operating system itself is new, you will take some mm -hmm. time to adjust, right? Even though you know the yes. one other thing, uh, that means there will be something as a reference manual. Uh, you have to read mm -hmm. that reference manual. Let's say you purchased a new washing machine, something like that. You should know it, right? How to use it or a new vacuum cleaner you have purchased. You should know how to yes. use it. And even though you are using it, there, be, there is some reference document. Yes. Okay. So in testing also, whenever you want to test an application, there should be some reference document saying that this is the requirement. If the developer has developed according to this requirement, then you say, the test case is passed, otherwise it is failed. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. That that requirement document you should you should have. If you don't have that requirement document, you cannot test. Yes. Okay, because you yourself don't know what to test, then how can you say whether it is correct or wrong? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now you should understand that if 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 you get a job, okay, if mm. you get a job as a tester in a company, what would be your task? Your task would be is to test an application. Mm -hmm. 
what is what is your role called in the company your comp- your role is called as a test engineer some people okay. call it as a senior test engineer some people call it as a test engineer some people call it as a junior test engineer some people call it as a, a senior consultant consultant designation will change but this would be your role to test an application the uh, test engineer role is to test an app task is to test an application yes okay yes. now there is something you have to understand is uh, you should have that reference document so that reference document is called as requirements document or requirement specification document mm-hmm. okay so the testing team will receive that requirements document okay mm-hmm. so they, you they, you will be given one requirements document actually uh, now mm-hmm. you should have a question who will prepare this requirements document mm. sir i think the buyer Uh, like the whoever wants the project he will definitely yeah. give us the instructions that i want this in this application so you have to give it back to me so i think the developer will make the coding or that software according to that and he will provide us all those things okay mm-hmm. yes uh, and like uh, for an example if a uh, number of people who is using a bank software so they were their requirement is to check their balance and transfer balance mm-hmm. this type of 5 uh, or 10 or something requirement so maybe these are the requirements these are the set of requirements we have to check within the software that if it's working correctly number 1 2 3 4 like that correct correct okay let me tell you there is one person called as business analyst okay oh. so yes. when you join a software company the way you have a software engineer and a test engineer right and a manager mm-hmm. you also have a employee called as a business analyst okay okay generally the business analyst are the people who are more senior senior most people okay so mm-hmm. who okay. is offered the a role of a business analyst okay uh, who is offered mm-hmm. is generally people who are expert in that particular domain will be mm-hmm. called as a business analyst for example okay okay let me give you the scenario here see you 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 are a, a software developer or a tester you know how to develop and test okay mm-hmm. but uh, let's say yes. uh, banking is a bit easy terminology to understand why because uh, because you know what is the purpose of bank you go there draw money pay utility bills send to do some transfers account transfer these things you know okay mm-hmm. let's talk some mm-hmm. other other domain let's say something related to me- medical domain Mm-hmm. or okay. insurance domain or power uh, power sector domain okay do okay. you know the terminology do you know how a insurance will work how insurance model will work or retail model will work we don't know right mm-hmm. or do you really know how a bank works how many laws are there uh, how the taxation will work how the auditing will work uh, do we know all these things no so when they are developing some software if the for our bad luck the software is in taxation can we develop it mm. it depends uh, you but you cannot say no to the customer right i will not i don't no. know taxation i will not develop it you cannot say that right no. so what company no. does it what company does it they will employ people called as business analyst so okay. business analyst will not have any knowledge of software they don't know mm-hmm. so they don't know testing they don't know java they don't know dot net anything they know that they have the domain knowledge who is, for example what software company will do you know uh, they will hire a bank a bank manager who has already worked in the bank for 20 years and got retirement mm-hmm. okay he doesn't know software but he knows how a bank works right yes yes mm-hmm. so what what a software company will do is so whenever a customer has come up with a requirement right this man, mm-hmm. this software company will send that bank manager as a business analyst to the bank so whatever the customer is talking right that can be easily understood by the business analyst because both are in the same domain banking domain mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so what they do is generally how the process will be like there will be a bidding actually uh, i am telling how it happens in the it industry you know what is bidding 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 b bid b i d d i n g bidding yeah like uh, generally i know that uh, people 
can buy something with bid, like asking many, many price and the higher price will be sold, something like that? Correct, correct, you are correct. Uh, a slight modification to that. Uh, how a bid happens in IT industry is, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead again. Yeah, uh, so bidding how happens in IT industry means, let's say we have a bank called as uh, ICICA Bank. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ICC bank want to upgrade their software. Okay. They have 10 requirements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have 10 requirements and they say that uh, these are 10 requirements uh, and they will send a proposal to uh, multiple uh, software companies. Mm -hmm. or, so, or software company can also send a proposal to ICC bank. They may say that so to develop these 10 requirements okay i require mm -hmm. ten thousand amount i require 10 months of time one company has sent a proposal other company mm -hmm. has said i require only five thousand and five months of time mm -hmm. other company has sent a proposal of ten thousand and and uh, five months of time mm -hmm. so to whom you will give the project <clears throat> You're talking about developing a software with 10 requirements for the bank, right? Okay. I, I repeat the question. Yeah. Uh, 10 requirements are there, we need to be developed. Okay. Mm. 10 requirements are there. One company is saying it will take $10,000. Mm. Okay. It will take two months of time okay other company is saying it requires 5000 mm -hmm. will take five months of time other company mm -hmm. is saying that it requires 10000 and it requires five months of time to whom you will give the right company one two or three Hello. To whom mm. will you give the project? Company one, two, or three? So it uh, depends. It depends. How much time? Yeah. How much time? Like uh, we want how our product to get. You know, in how much time we want that to be. It complete. also depends on company's budget on that work yes. because uh, five thousand is one Not option, and the other is. Yeah. If we have sufficient okay. amount of time, we will go for two months, uh, like five months with 5,000. If we don't have time much, then we will go for two months. If let, we let, let's say it is like this. Everybody will do in five months. Some people are taking for 5,000. Some are taking 10,000. Huh. Then what you'll do? So I want $5,000, I think. Number two, option number two. Yeah, $5,000 for five months. Okay, you'll go with 5,000 for five months. Since all companies are say, taking the time, same time duration, uh, but the company mm -hmm. two is totally doing it for half the price of company one, I'll go with company one. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll say, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, but uh, that, that's, that's not how the software will work. Okay, uh, banks uh, are not going to worry. Let's take a banking as an example. A uh, bank will not worry about money. Why? Because <laughs> they know how to get money from customers. Okay. Yeah. Money is not important Correct. for them. Quality is more mm. important. And the software yeah. company reputation is more important. Uh, see, mm. what they will do is they may not go with company too. If it is having a bad reputation in the market. When the company okay. will have bad reputation if they have developed something and it has failed. Mm. Yeah. I'm telling you the importance of testing in the IT, IT industry. Okay. Mm. They, they may go mm. with company one. Even though it is expensive, if it is having a good infrastructure, then, yeah. then uh, people will go with that company. It means they will check some background of their reputation and testing everything. And then they will decide, right? Correct. Mm. Okay. They, they are going to check and they are going to decide. Okay. So I'll yeah. tell you 
there are two things one is called as qc and one is called mm -hmm. as qa have any time referred mm -hmm. systems our 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 subject is about all this system called to assurance and quality control can anybody tell me what are these two things is there any difference in these two things or both are same no there is a difference okay i think uh, quality assurance means those uh, i mean a set of requirements are met then you are assuring that okay the yes. quality is um, met i mean everything is it's just in its place because the requirements are already met hmm. and in quality control you can control the faults like if i am not getting or achieve the proper requirements i can control the defects and i can control that problems okay okay you can see these two definitions right quality assurance and quality control can somebody read out what mm -hmm. is quality assurance the function of software quality assures that the standards processes and procedures are appropriate for the projects and are correctly implemented okay mm -hmm. good and what is quality control quality control is a set of activities for ensuring quality in the products the goal of qc is to identify defects after a product is developed and before it is released okay yeah. did you understand anything or no i think no right i think Not one thing i understand which yeah. is general that quality control is before you release the product for testing and or for public and quality assurance is after you release it and and make some standards that you have to achieve it like they have to perform it like this way right we have yeah. standards see observe this yeah. line the function of a software quality that assures that the standards process and procedures mm -hmm. are appropriate for the project and are correctly implemented i'll give you one mm -hmm. scenario and you can correlate the uh, quality assurance and quality control to both of these things okay you are okay. a student and you are writing an exam mm -hmm. okay uh, so while you are writing an exam right you will have two people uh, with you one is called as invigilator mm -hmm. okay and other one is the examiner so will you repeat so will you repeat i am not getting your voice okay can you hear me now is it okay yes sir see when you are writing an exam right uh, there will be two people in the examination hall or at the end result one person is called as the uh, invigilator mm -hmm. okay other mm -hmm. person is mm -hmm. called as the evaluator or examiner mm -hmm. what will invigilator do he will check that nobody is going to cheat no okay. everybody is in discipline <laughs> correct okay what will examiner will do he'll correct your paper right yeah he will see okay he will he will correct or he will just check either if it's wrong or right and give the marks and give the marks yes. yeah okay. perfect so see what invigilator will do is he will check whether you are the correct person writing the exam or not in check your hall ticket no yeah he will just check how i behave in the exam hall that's yes. it yeah he, he will check uh, how you behave in the exam hall whether you are coming to hall on time and whether you are leaving in the hall on time yes or mm -hmm. no only those thing he will check he will not yes. check whether you are writing correct answer or not yeah yeah correct and mm. call it uh, and uh, what examiner will do he will not check whether you are the correct person who has written the exam or not he will not check you have mm. copied or you are written on your own or not he will not check mm. all these things he will only check for this question this answer is correct or wrong that's it right mm. Mm. same thing applies for co is the in software job also so when you are uh, in order to achieve quality right there will be two roles one is called as a quality assurance role and other one is called as a quality control role okay mm -hmm. quality assurance is nothing but a job of a invigilator okay they will set the standards they will set the process okay so by following mm -hmm. this process you have to execute the activities 
so your job in a company would be quality control only not quality assurance in order to do quality assurance right there are some certifications called six sigma green belt black mm. belt okay so that job is completely okay. different setting policies and setting standards setting processes is a different job okay mm. your job is quality control only that means uh, you have to test whether the product is quality product or not how do you test whether the product mm. is quality product or not means there will be some set of requirements you have to understand that mm. requirements and then you have to check whether the developer has created code according to that requirements or not if the if the application is working according to the requirements then it is good if the application mm. is deviating from the requirements then it is a bug you are going to raise a bug developer is going to mm. fix it and then you are going to retest it and close it okay this is the okay. high high yes. level idea of what i want to tell you okay is it clear are you able to understand okay yes okay mm. so generally we will have a session of 2 hours with a break of 10 minutes in the middle okay? okay so this is what i want to tell you for today if if you can listen for some more time i can tell you for 20 more minutes okay if you want to stop me here i can stop it here only it's up to you so today i want to tell you the summary we have seen what is a software okay mm. second thing we have seen like uh, there is a difference between product based companies and service based companies okay mm. third thing we have seen mm. what is quality okay fourth thing we have seen is what is qa and qc mm. okay uh, and we also seen the two types of software one is called a system software and other one is called as a application software okay mm. and what is testing mm. okay and we have also seen what is defect anything defect is nothing but a fault in the system and anything which is not behaving as expected is treated as a defect mm. okay and why do we require testing means it will obviously it will improve the quality okay when quality mm. is good customer mm. will be satisfied okay mm. the customer is satisfied right or it will reduce the cost and effort what do you mean by it will reduce the cost and effort means basically you have purchased one mobile phone mm. okay and you have started using it if there is some defect in the mobile phone you are going to go back to service center and you are going mm. to get a new phone for it if it is in warranty yes or no yes so it is a loss to the company right yes so yeah. that is how if the quality is good it will obviously it will reduce the cost as well as effort mm. is it clear mm. yes sir. okay now one more point i want to tell you is what is your job as a software tester means you will receive the requirements document Okay, mm-hmm. which is prepared by the business analyst. Mm-hmm. Okay, then you will start understanding the document because you have to test the product. The product is delivered as per the document only. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you will start understanding the document. If if the understand while understanding, if there are any doubts, it will be raised to the uh, it will be raised and send it to BA in one template. The template is called as requirements mm-hmm. clarification note. Okay. See the reason why I am saying. What do you mean by BA? Oh, business analyst. Uh, yeah, business mm. uh, business analyst. So the reason why mm. I'm saying is, sometimes you may not have direct access to the business analyst. He's a senior person. He may not be sitting in your office. Most of the time, he may be interacting with the client. So if you have any doubts, right? There is one template. In that template, mm. you write your doubt and send it to BA. And uh, and and you and you'll mail it to BA, and um, BA is going to respond to you. Okay. Sure. First, your job is to under read the document, understand it. If there are any doubts, you raise the doubts to BA. Once you get your mm-hmm. clarification right, you write something called as test scenarios. Okay. Have you listened this term test scenarios and test cases any time? What's that? Did you listen any time this word test scenarios and test cases? Listen, but didn't understand. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Good. So in this course, we'll see what is a test scenario, how to write test scenarios, what is a test case, how to write test cases. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll tell you mm-hmm. one scenario. Like Amazon is there. Okay. Mm-hmm. In Amazon, what you do? You buy products. Mm-hmm. Correct. So in order to buy a product, there is one 
flow you have to follow the first thing is you should log in into your amazon website with your valid username and password password correct mm -hmm. after login is successful you have to search for a product okay if that Sorry, product, after login is successful you have to search for that product mm -hmm. if the product is available if you like that product you have to add it to the cart Mm, yes okay then mm -hmm. uh, after you add it to the card uh, you have to specify your destination address delivery address okay mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so if the, if the product is deliverable in that address then mm -hmm. shipping will take place and you have to make the payment mm -hmm. once the payment is processed then the product will be delivered to your address is this the flow or mm -hmm. not Okay. Yes. Yes. So, yes. so one end-to-end -end transaction is called as a scenario. For example, buying okay. a product in a shopping cart is a scenario. Okay. So the steps of buying a product from yes. first to last. Yes. Okay. So while buying, you can uh, one scenario can split into multiple scenarios. Like logging into an account is one scenario. Okay. Yes. Searching a product is one scenario. Okay, mm. payment is one scenario. Okay, mm. and delivery is one scenario. Okay. Yes, and the and the multiple scenarios may have multiple steps, right? Correct. Okay, as a tester, you need to identify the scenarios. If you identify scenarios, mm. then only right you can test it. So, yes. if you want to test Amazon, you should know first of all the flow, how the Amazon mm. business will work. So each step can be considered as one scenario. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So for each scenario, there can be multiple number of test cases. Yes. Okay. Now hmm. what is a test case? Oh, okay. Yes. Then test case is a small thing. Correct. Right. What is a test case? In that test case is uh, like when we log in, then we have to see that the username and password i mean the correct username and the correct password if we put in it should yeah it should in. match yeah, yeah. These, these should be matched with some codes or something else where we have written them or we have saved them mm -hmm. I think that could if be it doesn't system. work then if, if it doesn't it work fail. even with the even with the exact username and the right password okay. so this case mm -hmm. is failed yeah. okay if you take the scenario as logging into Amazon website, the test cases would be logging into Amazon website with valid username and password and go to the mm -hmm. search product page. Mm -hmm. okay. If mm -hmm. one of the things is invalid, then it should show, please enter your valid username and password. Mm -hmm. This is one mm -hmm. test case. So mm -hmm. from, from scenarios, you write test cases. Yes. So your job as a tester would be to identify defects. So how can you identify defect mm. by writing a test case? Uh, you can identify defect. So test case should be written in such a way that the probability of identifying a defect is smooth. What's that? Can you repeat, please? Test case should be written in such a way that the probability of identifying a defect is more. In such a way, you write it. In such a way, you write it. Okay, now is it okay? You should write this yes. case in such a way that the probability of identifying the defect is more. If you are writing yes. 100 test cases, but you are not even getting a single bug, then it is no use. By writing 10 case, test cases, if you are getting two bugs, then you are, you are effective way of writing test cases, right? Mm. <laughs> so can you, I'm not getting it properly. Yeah. <laughs> Confusing, I don't know. Okay. It's uh, easy, but you know, so yeah. many information. Okay. Uh, see, when you are writing a test case, the number of test mm -hmm. cases is not important. Okay. There is no point mm -hmm. in writing 100 test cases and executing the 100 test cases is not giving any bug. Okay. Okay. Even though you write 10 test cases and if it is uh, giving you two, uh, two bugs, that is good actually, rather than writing 100 test cases. So, test cases should be written in such a way that the probability of getting a defect is more. Oh, okay. So I have to like... Uh, I, I'll tell you. I have... 
I'll tell okay. you one scenario. Okay. Giving valid username and password should display only your products. It should not display some other mm. person's products, right? When you log in into mm. a, a bank account, it should show you the balance mm. of your account only. It should not show you the balance of some other person's account. Yes. Such type mm. of scenarios need to be tested. Okay. So okay. your job is to identify defects. So you are getting the flow right to identify the defects. Mm. You should write test cases. Okay, writing test cases. There are some techniques. I'll tell you how to write the test cases in the later session. Okay. So for today, I would like to stop it here. If you have no questions. Hmm. So for the further classes, uh, we will be having some assignment or something. Correct. Yeah. Let me tell you, the duration would be of two hours. And uh, I'll be discussing the points, and I'll I'll be sending you all the documents which I discuss in the class, and also I I will ask you to take down some notes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, short notes. It will not be detailed notes. Detailed notes I'll mail you. You have to take some mm -hmm. short notes, and there will be assignment uh, after the completion of every session or two sessions. Okay. Okay. So, like, it depends on if, if I'm able to complete a one topic in one session, right? Immediately, I'll give mm -hmm. the assignment, and uh, the next week you have to submit the assignment. You have classes okay. on Saturday and Sunday, right? So, if I give an mm -hmm. assignment on this Sunday, by next Saturday you have to submit it. Oh, okay. Okay, and okay. Uh, these assignments are submitted to Mind Map, and there will be a okay. rating for this assignment. Based on that rating, uh, they will give you the certificate at the end. Okay. Oh, okay. To, to assess you uh, whether you are really following or not. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and uh, at the end there will yes. be a mock interview and also a resume preparation. So ultimately okay. you have to get a job. That is the main purpose of this course. Yes. And yes. Uh, covering manual testing as well as automation testing. And uh, in coming mm. to automation testing, I'll be focusing more on Selenium. Okay. And the reason why I'm focusing on Selenium part is. There are more jobs in Selenium in the market nowadays. You can go through the website. Mm -hmm. You'll get more clarity on that part. What What is the name? Selenium. S E L E N I U M. Oh, Selenium. Okay. 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 But Selenium requires Java. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'll okay. I'll be teaching you Java uh, from the testing point mm -hmm. of view, not from the developer point of view. From the tester point of view, whatever you require, okay. I'll be teaching you. Okay. All right. Anything yes. else for today's class? So today's class, we have seen uh, what is the role of a testing in an IT company, and once you <laughs> get selected as a tester, what will be your job? Okay. Yes. So how to do that job? We learn as part of course. Okay. 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 Then I'll stop. Stop it here. Have a good weekend. See you tomorrow again. Okay. Same time. Thank All you right. so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, Shruti. Yeah. Bye, Shruti. Bye, Sana. <laughs> Bye. Bye.